so Caden was nice enough to bring over his little, I don't even know what you call it, massage gun, I guess. Um, I had an absolutely vicious, violent leg workout today. I mean, any leg workout is going to be vicious and violent when you're two and a half weeks out from a show, but I don't know. It just seemed like, whoo, like... I, I was on the phone with Caden earlier and I was like, bro, I had to reach down deep in my soul, deep in me and, and pull out whatever I had to get that done. That was a rough one. Um, I actually ended up rolling out for the first time ever, um, twice during that workout. And then not, not to mention that workout was brutal. I had 40 minutes of cardio after it was, it was, it was rough. It was rough. But yeah, he was nice enough to bring that over. So I'm anticipating being very sore. Um, so I thought I should uh, maybe take some extra precautions. And, you know, that's something I'm going to carry over into this off season is I'm going to start recovering. I'm going to start taking recovery very seriously. Yeah. Thing, thing, things are going to change a lot this off season just compared to how I've you know, I'm 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 taking everything to a next to another level. But we're two weeks out. Welcome to the vlog. Let's do it. All right, what's going on, guys? So, a little bit of a later workout today. It's about 4 p.m. You guys know I'm used to lifting around five or six. Kind of wanted to experiment around today. I got about three and a half of my meals in today opposed to you know just one how i usually have with that i have a bunch of carbs i'm probably like 200 carbs deep right now so i'm expecting the pump to be nice that's why i don't have a long sleeve on sip on a 3d for a little bit was careful not to chug it because i always bloat before the workout and that's not a good feeling hit a new low weigh-in of 170.2 so the fat is falling off and we are 16 days out so it is crunching down and like when i say i'm counting down the days guys i'm counting down the days i'm so ready to step on stage but let's go ahead and hop into this workout i'm gonna put my airpods in get in the zone put the hood up it's gonna be a vicious one
Ah. Alright guys, so I think last talking clip I did, I was like in agony because of my leg workout. But I'm all recovered from that. And then actually that was like almost a week ago. Damn. It's Tuesday, so I, that means I got legs tomorrow, Wednesday morning. Not looking forward to that, but it could possibly be the last leg workout of this prep. I don't know. Um, I don't know if they're going to have me do legs peak week or not. I guess we'll have to see. Ah, man. We are 12 days out. It's the end of the day on Tuesday. And, yeah, so real quick, let me update y'all on this week's protocol. So, we have officially started the water loading phase. So with that, I've increased from a gallon to a gallon and a half daily. And number one thing right off the bat, first thing I noticed was it's helping me stay so much more full. I, I'm not as hungry. It's, it's literally filling up my stomach that much more to where like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm on a diet, but it's, especially towards the end of the day I just feel a lot like more satiated it's nice I'm not gonna lie I am peeing like dude like 15 times a day I stay in the bathroom let's see we reduced carbs again this week so in three of my meals there has been a 35 gram reduction in carbs so took away 35 grams out of rice in two meals and 35 grams of sweet potatoes. We are keeping sodium high, the same it's been all of prep. What I think we're gonna do peak week is cut it down maybe until the last like couple days before we really start to carb load to really fill me out on stage. That sodium's gonna help with vascularity a lot. Let's see, we are sitting right at 2100. It's technically 2,132 calories. We'll just call it 2150. Um, 192 grams of protein right now, 229 grams of carbs, and 53 grams of fat. Yeah, so that is the two-week out protocol. Peak week, I'm really excited for. It's right around the corner. But a little topic I want to discuss with you guys is kind of... Uh, that's weird. Alex just texted me right now. But my relationship with food. And this is something that like is so is so common in competitors really towards those last few weeks. For me it, on this prep it really started probably about week 4. Week week 4 is when it got tough. The food cravings. Straight up like I think about food right now in a really unhealthy way. I definitely understand why I'm depriving myself of nutrients um simple calories my body is in a starvation mode my body thinks i am starving therefore it is trying to hold on to as much fat and as much energy as possible which would only lead me to think about food more the thing i'm depriving myself of to an a certain extent but i will say two years ago first competition um, my relationship with food got so bad that i had multiple binge episodes during prep and it was definitely a new experience for me and with not having a coach and being an 18 year old with no one else really to hold me accountable there was only so much i guess self accountability that i had and i went on some crazy binge episodes and after or after the competition i just went absolutely ham on food and i had a pretty terrible rebound i bloated for like a month and a half my whole shit my whole face my entire body was like puffed and that was a result of just huge surpluses of food coming in and a huge amount of water retention that immediately happened but this year i am determined not to do that at all i want to take my nutrition and my reverse diet phase very seriously with that being said though, that 48 hour window, maybe a little bit longer after the show, I'm finna eat. I am finna eat. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna go crazy, but I'm finna eat. Please believe that. But after that, I'm going to get back on a plan, 
definitely not going to be as restrictive as I have been on this prep, but be probably more macro based opposed to strict meal plans. But I'm still going to be incorporating a lot of the same meals that I've been consistently having through prep, you know, just to kind of ease out of this phase. And from here on out, I mean, I don't see myself not tracking anything. It's just so beneficial, especially as a bodybuilder and me understanding now that I want to be, take this very seriously and become very competitive. The only sensible option would, would really be for me to know exactly what's going on in my body 90% um, of the time. <sighs> but yeah, man, 12 days out, I literally obsess over just, I think, can't, I'm so excited. Like, I can't even like put it into words. Like, um, can't wait to get to Houston. I can't wait to meet my coaches. I can't wait to meet the other competitors. I can't wait to be in the Alpha Elite gym. I can't wait to be around that atmosphere because that atmosphere two years ago was wild. Everyone there was so like universally just happy to be there, happy to share positive vibes, happy to network and associate with people that have basically all the common goal and have been going through the same thing for 14, 16, 18, 20 weeks, depriving themselves. It has been in the forefront of my mind, especially these last, hmm, maybe two weeks. But as time is, time is, time is flying, if I'm being honest. But yeah, I'm, I'm hype. I can't quit thinking about it. It's, and I can't wait, to, I can't wait to document it. I can't wait to throw together a sick video for you guys. We're 12 days out. I will update you guys towards more of the end of the week, um, give you a physique update right before peak week, and then it's on. Yeah, time is ticking. All right, guys, thank you for watching this clip. I'll see you guys in the next one. So I got the last meal right in front of me. It's about 9 p.m. I'm gonna mark this, then uh, head to bed, probably be in bed by like 9.30. I'm an old ass man on prep, but that's just kind of how it goes. But I'm chilling with the boy Cross. It's been a little minute. I don't hang out with people a whole lot right now just because energy levels aren't there. And then like, I'm just not that pleasant to be around a lot of the time. But yeah, I'm, that's one thing I'm, really looking forward to being able to do once this prep is over it's like hang out with friends relax um unwind a little bit but what's wild is tomorrow is eight days out which means that's one day away from seven days out which is peak week which is a pretty big deal time's crunching down uh earlier he asked me like how i'm feeling right now like if i'm nervous if i'm like just kind of like what I'm feeling leading up to the show. And I, I think, I'm pretty sure he threw the word eager out there. And I was like, yeah, bro, that's definitely the word to describe how I'm feeling right now. It's like, I'm not nervous because I know the work that I've put in. I, the work has been done. The intensity has been there in the gym. The, the level of detail has definitely been accounted for. It's like, it's nothing really to be nervous about but I am eager. I'm ready to step on that stage. I'm ready to get down to Houston and just experience that environment again. Cause it was, I keep talking about it. It was such a like amazing experience, but it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy that time's gone by this fast, but it's also crazy to think that we'll be in Houston in just a week's time. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you have made it to this point in the video, once again, thank you so much. That has to be at like 15, 16 minutes at this point. I will see you guys in next week's video where we will be one week out and we'll be documented peak week. See y'all in the next one.